Welcome to the Spaces Node demo. My name is Randall Knudsen, and I'm going to walk you through how to set up per node drag and drop blocks. Since Spaces Node builds on context and spaces, it can do many of the same things that are done with Spaces OG, such as changing the layout and colors of your theme. But today I'm only going to demo blocks since that was our biggest need here at level 10. So, what does Spaces Node do? To put it simply, it turns any node on your site into a space. You can define this per content type too, which I'll show you later. For a brief recap on spaces, which hopefully you're familiar with by now, spaces essentially is a generalized API for contextual configuration of your site. It allows you to scope out part of your website. If you're a programmer, you understand the concept of scope and being able to say, within this scope, here's what this variable has a value of, but outside the scope, it has the global value. It allows you to manage settings like variables, layouts, and blocks, and many other things. Whatever you can think of that you can scope, you can use spaces to scope. The other thing we're going to need is context, which at its very simplest is a condition reaction system that allows you to find conditions such as whether you're on a specific path or whether you're on a node of a specific type, and a reaction such as putting up blocks or making a menu active. You can think of it very simply as a replacement of the core block system that's a little bit more elegant. It allows you to do it from a programmatic and exportable way as opposed to writing custom PHP and putting that into a text block and having that run an eval, which always kind of scares me. It also works very closely with spaces, which is a good thing for what we're going to show you today. So what is spaces node? If you look at the spaces module, it comes with several sub-modules. Those are like Spaces Taxonomy, Spaces User, Spaces OG, and those allow you to define a space per taxonomy, per user, or per organic group. And one thing that was missing that we saw and we needed was being able to define a space per node. So Spaces Node simply is an extension of the Spaces module that allows you to say, when I'm in the context of a node, make that into a space and give us all the power of spaces, even if the node is not an organic group. Before we get started, I'm going to give you a really big caveat. If you're a site designer or a site builder and you're just building a site and you're getting started in Drupal and you're trying to figure out how to put blocks on a page, this is not for you. What this is designed to do is allow end users, not the site designers, to be able to configure on a per node basis what blocks show up. So what we had the use case of is our, our client came to us and said, I want to be able to create promotional pages, enter the text, that's easy to do in Drupal, but then I want to be able to configure which blocks show up on each of those promotional pages. That's harder to do in context, hard to do in the block system, panels is uh, panels, and so what we did to do that is we created the spaces node which will allow them to drag and drop. You don't need this. Again, this is way overkill for site builders. If all you need to do is put blocks on a page, use context, use the block system, use panels, use something like that, uh, this is for end users if they need that functionality. Let's jump straight into a demo. I'm going to do a standard Atrium install, and the reason why I'm using Open Atrium to demo this is because there are certain theme things that need to be done in order to make this work. And I've got some documentation on how to do that a little bit later, but the first demo, just to give you a good idea of what's going on, uh, I'm just going to go with a stock Open Atrium install. So I'm just setting this up real quick making sure everything's there and we're built. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is make sure we enable the spaces node module. So let's find that. There it is. And save. Then we're going to need to create a content type. Call, let's call this promotional page. Give it the type of promo. And because we've enabled the spaces node content type, there is now this extra option in the settings that is enable spaces for this content type. This is saying for this content type, I want to make all of the nodes a space. Save that. Now the next thing we're going to need to do is create a context. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the name of the context is important. It's going to be spaces underscore dashboard and then a dash 
and then the name of the content type I just created. And I'm going to give it a tag. I'm going to stick it in the dashboard uh, tag. The conditions you don't really need, but the reaction I'm going to make, I'm going to add a default block in there. And I'm going to say that the user block for who's new shows up in the right sidebar. That's just to give us something to see there. And that pretty much sets us up for what we need. So let's go ahead and try this out and see all this hotness in action. I'm going to say create a promotional page. And we're going to call this the first promotional page. This is the body. I'm going to create another promotional page called second promotional page. This is also the body. That gives me node 1 and node 2. What's cool now is I can use this new customized page button that's that Spaces node is providing to customize this page similar to how I've customized other spaces in Open Atrium. So I can say add a Reese's comment recent comments block and there it is. And then when I hit save, it's there on the page. If I go back to node one, it's not there. I can add a separate block over here. Maybe I want to add the mini calendar. And now I have these two on here. I go back to node 2. It's not there, so I want to rearrange these. You can do that too. It basically allows me, on a node by node basis, the ability to say which blocks show up and what order they're in. Say I wanted to uh, change the layout as well. I can do that. Let's just add this in over here. So now, look at that. I have customized the layout and the content of two separate nodes using the Spaces node module. So that's how to do it in Atrium. Next, I'm going to show you how to do this in Stock Drupal. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how to do this with Stock Drupal. So the first thing that's important to know is that there's a lot of theming magic going on, which is one of the reasons I used Atrium uh, to do the first demo. And I've detailed a very uh, quick and dirty way of adding some of this theming stuff to your theme. Uh, and you can get to it at getlevel10.com slash answer slash adding dash customize dash dashboard dash magic dash to your theme. <clears throat> uh, you can see the URL right there. And basically, what it involves is adding a region, adding some uh, the region into your page TPL, overriding your block class for the palette, um, adding some preprocess, adding some CSS, and that pretty much does it. So I've actually done that on Garland, and I called it Gartrium just for the fun of it, uh, to for this demo. So I'm going to do a new install of Drupal. So let's get that real quick. And the first thing I'm going to do is enable some modules. I'm going to turn admin on. It makes our lives easier. And then I'm going to turn on the spaces node module. And it's going to tell me I'm going to need spaces, spaces dashboard, context, context UI, context layouts, chaos tools, features, jQuery UI. Those are all prerequisites, so it's going to turn all those on for me. Next thing I'm going to do is change my theme to Gartrium, which is just Garland with the changes I just showed you on this page here. It has all of these changes. Uh, that's all that's different in it. So I'm going to uh, change that. So this is the new Gartrium modification to the Garland theme. And then I'm going to do basically the same thing by creating my content type. And 
make sure I enable my spaces. And then create my context. I'm going to add the same reaction, which is the user who's new into the right sidebar. Now here's one of the things that's going to be different. Atrium has by default uh, another global context that adds um, the spaces dashboard block into the palette. So we're going to have to go ahead and do that. And if you don't see the palette region, it means you didn't do the modifications to your theme like I said. So make sure you go back to that uh, this website and do those modifications. So I'm going to make this site wide so that it's always there. You can you can limit this down to less, but it doesn't show up if you're not on a space, so this is fine for us. Um, the next thing that I need to make sure that I do, and again, Atrium does this for you, is go into my dashboard settings and say which blocks I want to allow people to place. So I'm going to do that real quick. I can go into my regions and say which regions you're allowed to drop things in. And we're going to disable all of those. So that's now set up. And let's see it in action. going to create another promotional page and now we have them so I'm going to go back to node 1 and here's our block that we added with co context And there you go, you have the same thing in stock Drupal with just a couple of extra steps. I hope you've enjoyed this demo of the Spaces node module. If you'd like to know more Drupal stuff, you can go to level10design.com and see all the stuff we've got on there. Thanks.